Hey everybody, this is Tara from Tara's Truths. Today is Saturday, September 5th, and I would like to do the weekly reading for the 5th through the 12th. And this is for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and their connection. So when I read, when I'm referring to the Divine Masculine, I will say he, and when I'm referring to the Divine Feminine, I will say she. This is just as the energy is. This is just how um, the energy is interpreted. So you don't necessarily have to be a female person or identify as female and be the feminine energy. You may identify as a female and carry the masculine energy. This is just how the energy is within your divine connection. Um, and your divine connection is one of a spiritual romantic nature. And you may call it whatever you want. So whether it's a sacred union, soul connection, divine counterpart, planetary partner, however, whatever, however you want to define it, uh, this is for you. So please take whatever resonates and apply it to your situation. So this can be for uh, same-sex couples, heterosexual couples, whatever. Um, this is basically just for those of you who are more or less stepping into either the divine feminine or divine masculine energy within your connection. That's all that this is. So um, let's get started. So when I was shuffling, first things, these guys came out right away. And it wasn't necessarily pertaining to anything that I thought of. But <laughs> this is about the divine masculine. And when things are in reverse for me, it's like a, it's like bold print. It's like, you know, pay attention here. So the emperor is the divine masculine energy and it's in reverse. So this is definitely saying, hey, pay attention here. And what is going on around the divine masculine is what I find very interesting. So we have the seventh chakra, the crown chakra card that came out. Now the crown chakra is basically acts like a portal to the divine okay so this is where our uh this is our connection to the divine so this is where um the divine masculine connects with his divine <laughs> with the divine giving him information on how to move forward and how to step into his masculine energy and how to um encompass the the masculine and how to be spiritual live a more spiritual life and how to tap into that part of himself so that he can tap can tap into um the self and 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 also be able to step into his energy and step into his power so he can be there for his divine feminine and this is coming through innocence we got a card of innocence now in this Innocence is almost like childlike to me. So it's like the divine masculine is being asked to step back into that that childlike energy to to go back to a time when things were simpler, when the masculine knew how to behave almost like, let me say, um, before he was tainted, before we, we have life experiences that jar us or jade us or you know, before trauma is inflicted um, to get back to that, to this innocent like time. And this is very like heart centered space. Like, you know, you're like in this depiction, she's got her eyes closed and she's holding her heart. Like it's just, she's honoring her heart. So, you know, that childlike attitude to me is almost like, you know, you went and you met a, a new friend and you played together and you played well together or you didn't play well together and you might and you might fight, but then you get over the fight and you keep playing. You know, it wasn't like all these things like, oh, should we be friends? Should we not be friends? I don't know if I want to be this person's friend. I don't know if I can be, you know, all these things are not there to to uh, jade us to make us jaded. So that's the energy that the, the divine is asking the divine masculine to step into this innocence and to get more of that um, energy, to step more into that energy. And I feel like that that's, this is what's happening this week. Um, and I think this was kind of like a side thing. I don't necessarily think that this is the only thing for the divine masculine. 
Um, yeah, no, I'm not getting anything else. That was pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, but definitely with this, with this crown chakra, um, like I said, yeah, it acts like a portal. I'm going to read, there's a little thing here. It acts like a portal to the divine. Uh, here we may receive divine inspiration, insp divinely inspired visions and experience oneness with all. It awakens us to the all encompassing purpose of the soul. Consciousness at this level can be de described as sacred. So this is blocked by, so if you're, if your crown chakra is blocked, it's blo being blocked by the attachment to ego. So it's almost like this is the opposite of ego. That innocence is not necessarily being so jaded and attached to the ego of like, oh my God, what do I do? What happens here? Blah, 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 blah. You just go out and play is really what it is. So I'm kind of like saying that the divine is being asked, the divine masculine is being asked to go step into some playful energy here. Be playful with the feminine. Be playful with himself. Be playful with, with all of his um, ideas and, and all his energy. Just have a more playful attitude towards it. So that's what I'm getting there. All right, so I did start to pull for the divine connection. And I was going to pull them all out, but I decided to stop at this. So um, let's see. I'm going to work with angels this week. Let's see what the angels. So this is for what does the... No, you know what? I'm going to stay with the Light Sears Tarot. So what does the... Not too many there. What is... No, nope, nope, nope. The angels want to talk to me. The deck is like kind of <laughs> sitting there screaming at me. All right, so what is in store for the divine masculine, divine feminine for the week of the 5th through the 12th? So tell me about the connection between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Yeah, see, I told you I wanted to talk. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> get some trees to go along with that so divine feminine divine masculine for the week of the fifth to the twelfth all right uh, yeah this is this is on top of that so this yeah yeah there was one more with that is it? Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the Ten of Fire. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. And then we have balance here. And then we have the Nine of Earth. Wow. All right. So this is, here's the deal. What I'm getting here is I'm kind of getting like that this was the situation of what was going on. Uh, life was out of balance. We're kind of coming out of that energy and we've actually flourished. Believe it or not, being overworked and doing too much and, and taking on so much. Let me see. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Okay. So taking on so much and, and being overworked and overstimulated I want to say and just just so much going on and trying to work through all of that crazy energy um, because if you remember last week uh, there was a lot of energy just coming in like so much energy that's what I feel like that was that was like asking me to to, sh to just move 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 and I feel like it, it was kind of like just exhausting and it, your life was out of balance because of all this energy that was just all over the place and just going, 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 going. That was that overworked energy. And I feel like now we've come out of it and you've, we've, it was happened because we needed to flourish. Okay. So all that stuff that was just like fast moving, fast moving, it needed to happen so we can find this balance so we can open up more, open up more and, and be balanced. Uh, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. 
So yeah, this is exactly what this is. This is the temperance card. So this is still like tempering out that energy. We're still figuring it out, but we've, we've still have come into balance by being open and more adventurous, like adventure into uh, things that you didn't necessarily think of. Um, have the childlike energy that still is in that. Oh, I forgot to look at this. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. There's a reason. Um, so wait for perfect timing. I feel like that this is basically saying if you're open, an adventure is going to start. We're about to start on this balancing where we're more balanced, the connection is more balanced, um, and it if as long as we remain open, we're gonna have this new adventure coming up. That's just what I feel. And this nine of Earth, that's that uh, enjoying this life, life's little luxuries, spending quality time alone, successful self-employment. This is like for me, like, um, like uh, spending quality time alone. This is like the self rewarding card almost like for me this is like you've put in all the work and now it's like time to just enjoy okay and it's it's remaining a mystery okay so we still don't know where this is going where the relationship is going we don't know where the connection is going and it's basically saying it's okay to be mysterious it's okay to be a mystery as long as we remain balanced and stay open and, and look at this as an adventure and stay centered within. That's what I'm saying. Like this balance is asking us to stay centered within ourselves. And this was the work that we needed to put in. Okay. So we needed all that fast moving energy so we can learn balance so we can stay grounded within ourselves. Even if we don't know what the fuck is going on in our connection. And that's basically it in a nutshell. And alchemy. And this is the number eight. Uh, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So this is basically saying this is what the mystery is, okay? This is why there's a mystery. We don't know what we're, what we're creating yet. We're in the process of creating it and we're stepping into this energy. But all of this mixing together, like to me, the alchemy is like the chemistry, like things like mixing together and coming together um, in such a beautiful way, in such a sacred way, in such a strong, loving way that this is the connection. This is what the divine mas masculine and divine feminine, this is what union is all about. This is what our energy coming together is all about finding this balance um putting in the work even if it's a lot of work but putting it in because we know that's what's going to make us flourish and and finding our balance and our our internal strength and that balance will keep us open to adventure and we don't know where it's going to lead us and isn't that beautiful because how boring is it like i mean do you want to watch a movie that you already know the ending and it's so predictable and it's like yeah boring or do you want to be like you know at the end of a movie like holy shit i didn't see that coming like oh my god don't you want life to be that way and this is what these types of connections do because it never seems to surprise me along my journey when just out of out of the blue like bam this is this is here it is in front of you this is you know whatever and it's like what how did that even happen like how did we get from a to b to, to 24 like, it's like they don't match they don't match but here's the thing alchemy the alchemy knows what it's doing the universe knows what it's doing we are creating this through our connection through our divine connection so if we're not in um the physical connection yet we will be because we're meant to be i really believe that and it's a mystery it's like when don't know not important that's not the important part the important part is the journey the adventure the learning 
the staying balanced to, to be able to stand strong within yourself. That's beautiful. This is really beautiful energy. All right, what more can you tell me about the connection between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine for this week? Contemplation. Hmm. Contemplation. I want to know more about that. What are we contemplating? Hmm. Let's see. What am I going to pull? I'll pull one of these. What are we contemplating? What are we thinking about? What's going on? What is... Where's our thoughts? This is thoughts. Contemplating. Like, almost like, you know, hmm, which road do I go down? What, what is that? We're not going to talk. Oh, we want different angels. Okay, that's why. I'm going to go to a different angel deck. All right, what are we contemplating? What is being contemplated here between the masculine and the feminine and their connection? That's too many. What is being contemplated? Okay, let's see. Oh, number two. The five of Ariel. And and a mystery card because it's face down. Oh. And decision. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so. Five of Ariel, you needn't go through your current changes alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies and decision. Release yourself that from, sorry, Archangel Jophiel, by the way. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary watery, watery, worry based on a lack of self-confidence. All right, so we are contemplating, we have a decision to make, okay? And this is the devil's energy. This is the ego, okay? So, and this is like loss, like this is like feeling out, like out and alone, like just abandon, like abandonment kind of issue card here. Perhaps some of you are in a situation where you're not with your person and you feel that they've abandoned you. Perhaps you have some abandonment issues from your past and this is what you need to make a decision about moving forward and letting go of. And maybe your divine connection <clears throat> is asking you to heal that once and for all. I'm also getting emergence with this card. For some reason, I know this is like a very sad card and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. But I also see this angel, this Ariel just kind of like emerging from it. It's almost like, like, yeah, I've been hurt and yeah, it sucks and yeah, whatever. But like, you know, the right decision to make. Okay. And to contemplate any further, it's just going to keep you stuck. It's going to keep you unbalanced. It's not going to help you find balance. It will help you stay more indecisive. But I like I like this. Like help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy and this is unnecessary worry based on lack of fear or self-confidence. So this is basically telling you what your blocks are and where you get stuck. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's good. It's good to know that, you know, um, you feel like alone, you're feeling, you're feeling lonely or you feel alone or abandoned or you're stuck in, in the ego and you keep playing the scenario over and over and over. What could I have done better? I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. These are good. These are good things to learn about yourself. Because if you learn them about yourself and you recognize them and you don't push them down, 
you balance it out with with um, positive affirmations and meditation and ways of of helping you move past it helping f help ask for help find a therapist to help you through these these thought patterns and how to break the cycle that's what this connection is asking you to do it's asking you to break a cycle of of repetitive nonsense that we get stuck in in ego and it's it's not you know it's it's never an easy place to be but i feel like it's an easy place to get out of it once you make that decision and this contemplation to me is about i i, I don't feel like it's even a thing i think you know what to do i really do i think that this you just know what to do you know what's right And I see this little fishy here that's that's like hanging out hiding. It's like stop hiding, like is what I'm getting from this. Like she knows. See, like I don't know. Like on her face, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna contemplate if I really want to go down this road or not. And maybe some of you are thinking that maybe you've been through so much with, with this person and you're thinking if you even think it's worth it anymore to go down this road. And that may be something that you're thinking about. And that's perfectly okay. Um, you know the decision to make. If it's holding you back, let it go. And maybe if you let go of not necessarily the connection, but the energy of the connection that is holding you back. So for instance, your, your divine counterpart um, hit so many triggers, but these triggers are not triggers from the divine counterpart. It's triggers from your past, previous relationships, um, friendships, uh, a parent, a sibling, school, adolescence, grammar school, something that happened when you were five, you know, that's, that's the source of it. The trigger is just the divine counterpart hitting it but that they're not the source of the um negative self-fulfilling prophecies they're not the source of something that you need to detox they're not the source of unnecessary worry and a lack of self-confidence your partner doesn't give you, your your divine counterpart does not give you lack of self-confidence. They may trigger it in you, but your divine counterpart sees you as one of the most amazing human beings that they'll ever lay, lay eyes on. And you them. Remember, you're a mirror. So how you see your divine counterpart is exactly how they see you. And if the person doesn't see you like that, then they're not your divine counterpart. And that's okay. Then... Their, your divine counterpart is out there. So be open to that. And maybe that's what this is about being open, finding that balance. And it may not even, it may appear that your divine counterpart isn't your divine counterpart because you. it may appear that your divine counterpart doesn't see you like this. But they do. They really do. They see you for all the wonderful things that you are. I'm going to get some romance angels. Let's see. All right past life relationship and deception yet like i just said you you may think i don't think it's necessarily that your um divine counterpart is lying to you um but this is definitely your divine counterpart so if any of you out there were thinking oh my god this may not be my divine counterpart for what she's saying it is here's your past life relationship and maybe this is even something you have to purge as well go through maybe that's what this is contemplating um, and the deception is, like I said, I literally just got finished saying your divine counterpart may not show you that they think of that they see you as the most amazing human being on the face of the planet. But just because they don't show you that doesn't mean they don't feel it or think it. And that's where the deception is. They're not showing it. They're not expressing it. 
see a false self mask in this relationship. So they're pretending not to care as much as they do for whatever reason, for their own, for their own issues, because they're going through this too. Don't forget, this is the energy of the connection. So this is you. So I ask you who's watching this, what false mask are you wearing that you need to take off? Because once you take off your false mask, they will too. <clears throat> beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, let's start with Divine Feminines this week. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to get some tea. Oh. Mm. Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines. Oh, whatever. Okay. All right, tell me about the Divine Feminines for the week of the 5th through the 12th. For the Divine Feminines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was upside down. Let's see what we got here. All right, told you the angels wanted to talk. <laughs> Look at that, we got the Emperor here. Amazing. All right, where are my trees? Here they are. The chariot. Let's see. Divine feminines. Divine feminines. Divine feminines. So many. Feminines. Feminines, what in the hell? Hmm. All right. So. I feel like the feminines are thinking about walking away from the masculines. I definitely feel that. And the reason I say that is because I feel like some of you feel like moving is a risk. Uh, you're taking a risk. And this is fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, and uncertain self-employment. And it was in reverse. For me, pentacles also mean self-worth. So feeling lack. Five is a very chaotic, well, it's like changes. There's a lot of changes going on. Um, but it's fear surrounding it. It's like uncertainty, not knowing what's going on. Um, just a lot of like, there's just a lot of energy. Again, there's energy, but it's wisdom and surrender. It's having the wisdom and surrender with this. And then, oh no, wisdom. Okay, it was just the wisdom. And then the emperor, your divine masculine is surrender and resilience. I do. I feel like some of you are just thinking, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to let go of the connection the way it was and I know I'm taking a risk or you feel like you're taking a risk. And maybe some of you are actually thinking about walking away from the connection completely and starting a new relationship. Maybe you're out dating or you're looking to date or you've met somebody um and you're just worried. But that's okay. It's okay if you do that because if this person is really for you, they will be there for you. This divine masculine is not going to leave your life um, unless you really want them to. You, you can have the choice to end a contract if you want to. You can rewrite your contracts. I'm not saying you can't. You can. You always can. There's always a choice. I also feel that some of you may actually be moving and changing, maybe changing jobs. Maybe you're looking to go into to 
um, it's a risk for you, but maybe some of you are going to do um, a new field, maybe move into a different field. Maybe you're going to move jobs. Maybe you're going to move locations and you're going to find a job. Maybe you're worried about money. Maybe this is some of you worried about money. Um, maybe this is some of you worried about how your masculine sees you if they if they see your worth and value and your masculine does your masculine and surrender like surrender to the masculine energy surrender your own masculine energy feminines you don't need to hold it now that doesn't we all have the yin and the yang that's part of our balance yes i know but in the connection if you are a feminine and you're running after the masculine, you're not allowing the masculine to step into his masculine and you're not stepping into your feminine. The feminine sits back and opens up. That's what that other, that's what that was. And the relationship supports the feminine doing it. It also supports the masculine taking the risk and coming forward. The masculine is resilient. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Surrender to this masculine energy. I want a little bit more information here. What do I want? I don't know what this risk is. What is this? I feel like that's kind of like we're clearing out of that. What is, <coughs> what is this five of earth energy? Tell me about this five of earth energy. What are we doing here? What is this five of earth energy pertaining to? Well, I'll get a little bit more specific about the five of earth. Five of earth, what is this pertaining to? What is, tell me more about that. Solutions. Okay. Archangel Zadkiel. Success that comes from objective compromise, self control, and patience, forgiving and healing energies. So, yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. So being stuck in this lack of feeling um, no self-worth, this fear surrounding your, your abundance, will this energy come in? You know, fear surrounding money is also abundance. Um, you know, am I, am I going to have what I want? Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if where my abundance is coming from. I'm not sure if this connection is for me. I'm not sure if this is my connection. Um, being unclear. And it's basically saying, like it says, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience here for me was the big thing. I, I, it's basically saying, if you want to move away from your divine masculine counterpart, you have every right to do that and rewrite your contract. You can, you totally can. But it's basically heeding you to not do it out of emotions of you feel unworthy or you don't think it's working or, you know, this person just isn't showing you what you want. So you're not going to move forward with it anymore. It's asking you to be patient and to be wise about it. Okay. Be wise with this. And because the masculine is surrendering and he's resilient. So it's basically saying Tap into that masculine energy and find your own resilience.
forgiving and healing energy. Who needs to be forgiven? What have you done, feminines, that you feel you need to forgive that you're not worthy? What has the masculine done? What has the masculine mirrored to you? That's what this is saying. Hmm. Tough week for the feminines. Truth. You're going to discover what your truth is. You're going to find your inner truth. You're going to find what you really believe. And like I said, this is good. Remember earlier I said something about um, feeling so lost and, and that you're out in the cold and you're abandoned. And these are good things to find out that this is how you feel. Instead of suppressing them and holding them down, they're never going to be able to be balanced out. But if you release them and let go and surrender to the masculine energy and say, you know what, I have to trust this connection and I have to learn what this truth is about myself before I just run and take this big risk. <coughs> I want to know what I really actually feel, not... Because remember that it was the, the wearing the false mask, you know, like the truth. What's the truth? Where Where is the truth lying? And this is a mystery, so that's good. You know, where's the, the truth lying? Who's wearing the false mask? Where's your false mask, feminines? What truth are you not wanting to face for yourself? These are the questions you need to ask yourself because only you have the solutions for this. And this may even be also part of that contemplation. Hmm. And it's good because once you realize, it's almost like once you accept the fact that, you know, that you think you're a loser, you kind of are okay with it. You know, like it's, 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 it doesn't matter anymore. Stay optimistic about your love life. So this is basically asking you not to throw away the divine connection because you're having a moment. <laughs> you're having a minute. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So see, I mean, now I'm not, you always have a choice. If you are in such a toxic situation with your masculine and you just cannot be in it anymore, by all means, take the risk and, and, step away from the energy and regroup if that's your d decision if that's your truth then do it but if your truth is hey i just feel like shit because i don't feel like i'm a worthy person and my masculine isn't reaching out as much as i want him to and we're not together romantically and i haven't heard from him in three months so I'm just going to say, fuck him and go find somebody else and blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of like a recipe for disaster. But if you're saying to yourself, you know what? I haven't heard from my divine masculine in three months. I don't really know what he's doing. And I'm kind of like in a space where I might want to make other connections because I want to meet new people and you know, open up and reach out and, and find a little bit more balance because, you know, whatever, I want to go have some fun and go meet, make new friends or meet up with friends. And you meet somebody, you happen to meet somebody and they ask you out and you go out with them. That's totally different. Totally freaking different than saying, well, I'll show him. I'm just going to go on the dating apps and I'm going to, you know, meet everybody I can because you're not being truthful to yourself. That's wearing a false mask to yourself. That's saying, um, that's basically having a temper tantrum and not helping you at all. That's not surrendering. And that's definitely not staying optimistic about your love life. And this is asking you to stay optimistic about it. Like I said, if it's toxic and you need to walk away to, to hit the reset button, then by all means, go do that. Healing family issues. Like I said, you're having temper tantrum. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is a childhood issue. Remember that innocence thing? That's what I feel like this is. 
I feel like that this is something that came in from when you were a kid and, you know, your masculine is hitting all those freaking buttons. All the right buttons he's hitting. Let's do one of these. Let's do two of these. Is there three? There is. I'm just going to pick the top one. Meditate and contemplate. Again, with the contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So the contemplate. So before you act, think. Think about it. Maybe this is what this contemplation is. That contemplation energy. Where was that? That's what this is. I feel like you're both kind of at a crossroads right now. I feel like the connection is at a crossroads. And I'm thinking it, it depends more on the feminine and where she is with her energy right now. Feminines, you do hold the power. If you want to walk away from this connection, now's the time to do it. If you really do. But make damn sure you want to. Make sure you want to. Because the divine feminine, the divine masculine is right here. And he's resilient. And he's showing this resilience. I do, I do feel like it's asking you to let go of it in a toxic way. Let go of the connection and it's toxic toxic energy that you bring into it let go of your own toxicity let go of the scarcity mindset hmm. rough week for the feminines this week any more I feel like I want to, what else can I do here? Hmm. I'll pull one of these. No. No. Let's pull one of these. Oh, oopsie. I'm going to drop some things. Let's pull one of these. Hope the feminine's out here, fairies. How about the feminine's? Birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Basically, celebrate. I'm getting like celebrate, have fun, act like, you know, like start over, like start a new year, okay? Um, hit the reset button, um, but for yourself, maybe some of you are having a birthday soon or <coughs> you're going to be celebrating a birthday or celebrating a friend's birthday. Be open to that. Hmm. Okay. Balloons, yeah. The gifts. Be on the lookout for a gift from the masculine or a gift from the universe. Always be on the lookout for gifts. Your angels are around you. There's always something good to find. You just have to be open to look for it. Wow. That's some pretty heavy duty stuff for the feminines. Pretty heavy duty, fems. All right, let's get to the masculines. All right, what do I need to know for the masculine energy, for the divine masculine energy for the week of the 5th through the 12th? So, divine masculine energy. Divine masculine energy. Divine masculine energy. Each one had a card flipped. Masculines have not. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. You 
can't. You can't make this shit up. Wow. This is amazing. The masculines, masculines, masculines. So beautiful. The masculines are really figuring out. Oh man, feminines, you're masculines and masculines, you are understanding this is the divine feminine energy, okay? Archangel Gabriel, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. This is the divine feminine and this is the throat chakra. I'm sorry, the third eye chakra. Sorry, I thought it was the throat. This is the third eye chakra. So... Um, this is about the masculine's understanding how this is the third eye is about the intuition okay this is the insight that we know this is about um, knowing our knowing of of divine guidance or divine guidance and uh like our visions like if we see stuff from the divine uh this is where we hold um our space for to to be able to interpret divine intervention the crown chakra it comes through and uh, the masculines with the crown chakra that's where it comes, the information comes in, but the third eye is where we actually are able to interpret it to see what's actually going on, to be able to open up to it and to be able to, to read it. It's almost like, you, you know, you may have received the book, but you didn't read it. The, the, the third eye chakra is like, you got the book and you're reading it. Okay. And he understands the divine masculine understands that the divine feminine holds this power and he also understands wh who the divine feminine is in his life he's starting to put the pieces together okay and this is because this is a very masculine energy now the emperor is the divine masculine energy but this is the energy of the masculine this is the power this is almost like the sun it's warm it's it's like it's like an erect penis okay i mean this is all action this is all fire this is all passion this is all male energy happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself but here's the thing honor yourself so the divine masculine has learned or is learning who his feminine is and he is honoring himself by becoming awakened to the divine connection of the of the two of you because this is the the 1111 card this is the card of the divine feminine and divine masculine connection this is the card of the divine counterparts content peace and abundance happy home life successful com completion of a project and he's awakening to it so this is the energy that the masculine is sitting in. This is the masculine energy for the week, okay? So like I said, the divine feminine feeling like she wants to leave may have even kickstarted the masculine into doing this, okay? So the fact, feminines, that if you stand in your feminine power, and I always end up talking to the feminines with this, if the feminines end up standing in their divine power, it will help the masculines stand within theirs because this is the divine connection and that's what this is supposed to do. The divine masculines are in their divine power, okay? They're stepping into it. They're stepping into their masculine energy. This is what this sun is. And I know there was something with the date, but if 319 means anything to anybody, I don't know. <clears throat> Unbelievable. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful energy. 
Wow, masculines. All right, I thought you got two. Abundance and solitude. Now that's interesting, okay? Because here we have abundance and solitude. Now the divine masculine still may not be reaching out to the divine feminines because he's still figuring this shit out, okay? This is not easy. The, the feminines are the ones that are with the divine, with the third eye. The div divine feminines, we are naturally intuitive. The divine feminines, we're portals, okay? The divine feminine energy is a portal to opening up and things growing within. So we see everything. The divine masculines are more focused and their, their energy is more action-based. So in order for them to see the bigger picture, they need to go into solitude. They need to go into their hermit mode. But that doesn't mean that they don't see the abundance that's around them. Because they do. They definitely do. And they're asking for the feminines to be more patient with them. This is really, really beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. Divine masculines. Reconciliation. Look at that. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Reconciliation. All right, masculines. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right, so some of the masculines are going to be reaching out and communicating to the feminines and wanting a reconciliation. While some of the other, well, that's what this abundance is. So this is two different things. While some of them are still in solitude, and it's not that they don't love the feminines, they just haven't realized it yet. They're still reading the manual. They're still awakening to this connection. And they need time and patience, and they need solitude in order to do it. You know? Wow. So we're going to do one for this group over here. There's too many. For this group over here. See, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries for the abundance. And for this one, take time to breathe out. <laughs> See, he needs to figure it out. So the, the energies support this. There's two different ways. There are two different paths that this masculine, there are two groups of masculines. And I'm wondering... I'm wondering if the feminines decide to walk away, this is what's going to happen. They're going to go into solitude because they're going to feel like it's unrequited love and they're going to they're going to need their space. Well, if the other ones if they hang out, if they hang in there, the masculines are going to come in with with an offer because they know it. Hmm. I'm con I'm 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 contemplating. Let me get where did they go? Where'd they go? Masculines. For this Who do you need to forgive? Reconciliation. Look at this. As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Who do you need to forgive? And then this one is travel. An upcoming trip provides, approves to be life-changing in a positive way. 
and travel travel away from it like i like i thought yeah like move away from that energy move moving away from the connection the solitude and i do feel that some this may be um for the masculines in general, regardless of what the feminines are doing. He might have to move and do things on his own and take time to breathe out. That may be what's required. And that may trigger the feminines to want to move away, move out of the connection. And that's fine. It, it, I'm just laying out all the different scenarios that I'm seeing being played out here. There's like different pockets of groups. This is the Four of Michael. This is that insights that come from quiet meditation, need for more sleep or time off stress. Seek relief from stress. Okay, this is for this one coming in, actually. And then this one is the Two of Cups. Two hearts decided to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits don't give up on those you love. And that's this one. Like I said, I feel like that this is definitely something that the masculine will come into if they don't approach you. If the masculine, if the masculine has not figured this out, when they figure this out, they're going to, they, they're going to go inward and they're going to have to move out of different energy and they're going to have to let go of this. They're going to have to let go of something. I almost feel like that this, this unrequited love could even be an old relationship that went sour that has them maybe even a little jaded but they're gonna realize they're gonna come around to this energy to this they got the four of fire they got the four of wands and the two of cups within this reading there's no way in hell that they don't see that this connection is something more than what they've had in the past and with this one i still feel like that this isn't coming right away this is the energy, but it's not coming right away because see the need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. So the masculine still is putting in all this work. So they need to have this um, downtime so they can figure things out as well because they're coming into it. They're thinking about it. They're coming in. New beginnings and strength. Holy shit. Look at this. New beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past and strength, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. You can't make this shit up. So they're starting over and they're strong and they're gaining strength. And if, if you do decide to leave feminines, <clears throat> It will, they will grow strong from it. And your connection, I feel like the connection is still even going to be there with a new beginning and a newfound strength. If you let go of things that need to be let go of in the proper way, feminines. So as long as you're not doing this in a I don't have self worth kind of way, but more of. I'm finding I don't have self-worth and I want to find my self-worth within myself and not necessarily from coming from my masculine, but within myself. So what can I do for me to help me fill my own cup so that when the masculine comes and figures out that I'm the other cup, <laughs> I have a cup to offer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. It's heavy, but it's actually really amazing how this played out like this. So masculines, stay with it. 
emotional healing. As your heart's healed of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings of love. See, I feel like that's what this is. I feel like that this is a healing and this is what the healing and he's coming into this, you know, a new climax and, you know, abundance and reconciliation. And then this is do some research. You need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. That's what this solitude is about. You're, you need to find out a little bit more about yourself before you move in. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's everything right about that. You should find out about yourself before you make any kind of decisions. That's what this is all about. This is beautiful energy. This is this is a lot, but it's it's good. It's good. It's all good. Wow, masculines. Poof. You are in your zone. <laughs> You know who your feminines are and you're going for it. And that's amazing. And that's beautiful. Well, I hope this resonated with all of you. Please like, subscribe, share my page, reach out. I would love to hear from you. And I hope you all have a very blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye.